Hello friends, in this lecture we will look at graph representation using adjacency list and we will use C++ STLs to do accomplish this task. So we will just look at a very simple graph here and let's see that this one is the graph 0, 1, 2, 3. So we have four nodes in our graph and this is how they are connected with the edges. So now what we want is we want the adjacency list representation. And what does adjacency list do is that for each node, okay, so we have node 0, node 1, node 2 and node 3, okay. So we have these in a vector, okay. So we have them like this. So this is a vector where we store all the nodes and we also have what is known as a list for all these nodes. Okay. So node 0, it is connected to node 1, 2. Okay. So we will have here node 1 and node 2. Okay. So these are the nodes that are connected to node 0. Then for node 1, we again see 0 and 2 are the nodes that are connected to node 1. For node 2, we see that node 0, node 1 and node 3 are connected. And for node 3, it's just connected to node 2. So this is the adjacency list representation. And what happens is that it saves storage for us okay it saves memory and how because each now if there are mod e number of edges so all these nodes just we have the list of nodes for each node which are connected to it okay so this is the basic idea but here the important another important thing is how to represent it in c++ so in C++, our most important thing that we need to know is that we have what? We have set of nodes, okay, or set of vertices. And each vertices, each vertex is connected to a set of other nodes through edges, okay? And this is what we have to represent. So how we do that thing? So we will use what is known as so a vector we will use for all the nodes so we have vector where we will store all the nodes but each node now has a list so we have vector of a list of ints okay so this is what we will have so if you see here so we have and if there are n nodes okay so what it becomes is that we have a vector of list of nodes okay and which we will call as adjacency list and what happens in the vector you have each node okay and in each node you have a list which tells you that which other nodes it, that particular node is connected to so now we will look at the c++ code that implements this graph representation using adjacency matrix so of course the first most important thing here is so we are using stl where we use vector and list okay so these are the two representations the data structures that we use and the most important thing is here so this piece of code so standard vectors we have a vector of what the vector is also a set basically indexed set and in that what we have in each vector item we have a list okay so we have a list of all the nodes it is connected to so this is the basic idea and now what happens let's see how we have done so we have a simple graph here and what that graph looks like is we have four nodes okay so 0 1 2 and 3 and let's see how are they connected so we do because this is a vector so it's like an array very much similar to an array where we can 
indexed items we can use so adjacency list zero that is the first node dot push back one okay so now let's try to see this thing so when we do adjacency list zero dot push back one it means that our graph is basically zero is connected to one so let's first draw the graph then one is connected to two and zero two is connected to zero one and three so this is our graph and now let's look so this is an unweighted graph so and what happens and undirected okay so here what happens is this is adjacency list zero means the node zero and when we do dot pushback so this item adjacency list zero this represents a list okay list and a list for basically or you should remove list for node zero similarly adjacency list one is the list of nodes that are connected to one so this is basically of type standard list okay this is the type of the adjacency list i now what happens is so we have a an api okay push underscore back where we just push the node number which it is connected to so adjacency list zero dot push back one adjacency list zero dot push back to so we push in this creates for us now we have here one and two similarly what happens adjacency list one so for node one the vector and this is the list so we have two and zero here for two we have a list zero one and three so this is the list and for three we have just got two so this is the your adjacency list and your graph is here and this is how you create the graph okay now the thing is we want to print the graph okay how the nodes are connected and so on and which is a little bit complicated because of stl that we are using and in fact stl makes your life very simple because you don't need to have your link list maintain your own link list it's and resize everything will be done by your vector and list stl classes okay so this is the part where we construct our graph now we would look at how we traverse so how we will traverse so let's see so for traversing we have this piece of code okay and let's try to see how it is done so we have what we have one is vector so if let's say i want to print for all the vertices i want to print their neighbors so first thing is i need a kind of for loop which will iterate through all the nodes so for all the nodes and a nested for again for each of its neighbor so print their name so these are the two things that you need to do so how we do so there is a concept of iterator in c++ stl where what happens when we want to iterate through some stl class so if we have a vector so we are making a vector iterator so you need to have the same kind of iterator through the type of class you want to iterate through so we have standard vector and that vector is of what so it consists of vector of standard list of ints so it's iterator by scope resolution i gave iterator i we have a c count is zero initially we start so standard vector standard list int iterator i so iterator now it starts at adjacency list dot begin until it goes 
till adjacency list dot end and i plus plus happens okay so what happens it's just like a for loop okay uh, where i is equal to zero to some maximum size so here we are going because we don't know the size of the the list or the vector so we keep on iterating and this adjacency list dot begins show me the beginning of the vector and adjacency list dot end shows me the end of the vector okay so i is your iterator that is iterating through your vector of 0 1 2 3 those objects so this is the vertical iterator i am going through i but each time i also need to traverse the list for each of the nodes okay so this is again one iterator so when i am traversing here so this vector gives me what inside the each vector object there is a list of int okay and that list of int we want so what happens so we do so in this iterator i we will always have a pointer to the list okay so standard list of int okay so we have in star i we get the list so let's see so we have now the pointer to the list for that particular vector item so for standard list iterator iter li dot begin iterator so now we are iterating through this list using this for loop so standard list int so we have now iterator of type list of integers it starts with li dot begin so this is the from here we take for this first node what is the list i get from here get the list for this node so we get it here li dot begin iterator is not equal to li dot end plus plus iter we do and we what we do print the neighbors okay we print which are the neighbors of this particular node so vertices connected to node c which is here and then we just give one end line and c plus plus so that we are printing the nodes okay which we are traversing so this is the simple idea where we are creating a for undirected graph and with no weighted edges so this is how we represent it using a vector of list of int okay so the main thing is how you implement this the concept of adjacency list is simple but how you implement using stl is a bit tricky and i hope you understand this now so thanks a lot okay so one thing i forgot is that i need to show you that it runs really okay so that is important which i did not do so let's try to see so vertices connected to node 0 are 1 and 2 vertices connected to node 1 are 2 and 0 vertices connected to node 2 are 0 1 and 3 vertices connected to node 3 are 2 just one node that it is connected to so this brings for us that how wonderfully in a compact way we are representing a graph using adjacency list okay so i hope you understand this thanks a lot